Dancing Girl, Mohenjo Daro, Art from the Indus Valley Civilization. The Dancing Girl is a bronze statuette created over 4,500 years ago and is a rare and unique masterpiece. It was found in the ancient Mohenjo Daro site in 1926. This statue is a cultural artifact reflecting the aesthetics of a female body as conceptualized during that historical period. The bronze girl was made using the lost wax casting technique and shows the expertise of the people in making bronze works during that time. The statuette was named Dancing Girl based on an assumption of her profession. She is one of two bronze artworks found at Mohenjo Daro that shows a more natural pose than compared to other more formal figures. The statuette has large eyes, a flat nose, healthy cheeks, curly hair, and a broad forehead. She is a tall figure with long legs and arms, high neck, subdued belly, and sensuously modeled. The girl wears some bangles and a necklace. She has 25 bracelets on her left arm and 4 bangles on her right arm and is holding an object in her left hand. Her long hair styled as Big Bun rested on her shoulder. Archaeologists regard the dancing girl as the most captivating piece of art from an Indus site. The statue led to two important discoveries about the Indus Valley Civilization, also known as the Harappan Civilization. Firstly that they knew metal blending, casting, and other sophisticated metallic methods. Secondly, that entertainment, especially dance, was an essential part of their culture. Kantha saris when a new guest arrives in a Bengali middle-class house, the mother, uncle or grandmother of the house starts making kantha from his old sari or old cloth. This is how the kantha sari originated. We mainly see three types of kantha stitch saris, namely tasar, silk and cotton. Kantha stitch saris have gained popularity in India and Bangladesh alike. This Kantha stitch sari can be seen in Bolpur and Shantiniketan areas of Birbhum district in India. First of all the original sari is woven by the weaving machine. Then the cloth is brought from the weavers and various designs are made on it. For example, figures of flowers, leaves, trees etc. are made. The Starry Night is an oil-on-canvas painting by the Dutch post-impressionist painter Vincent van Gogh. Painted in June 1889, it depicts the view from the east-facing window of his asylum room at St. Remy de Provence, just before sunrise, with the addition of an imaginary village. Describe the painting Water Lilies. Solution 1. Water Lilies is not a name of a single painting but a name of a series of works. During his lifetime, Claude Monet comes back to this subject matter several times, and painted more than 250 Water Lilies paintings. Along with Starry Night by Vincent van Gogh, Water Lilies are the most iconic images of Impressionism. 2. The first series of Water Lilies, a total of 25 canvases, was exhibited at the Gallery du Rule in 1900. This was followed nine years later by a second series of 48 canvases. These landscapes of water and reflection have become an obsession, wrote Monet on August 11, 1908. This is beyond the strength of an old man, and yet I want to express what I feel. I have destroyed some of the canvases. I begin once again. I hope something will come of all this effort. Write a short note on the painting Moulin de la Galette. Solution, Bal du Moulin de la Galette, commonly known as Dance at Le Moulin de la Galette, is an 1876 painting by French artist Pierre-Auguste Renoir. It is housed at the Musée d'Orsay in Paris and is one of Impressionism's most celebrated masterpieces. From 1896 to 1929 the painting hung in the Musée du Luxembourg in Paris.